I'm back. The summer is over and now it's time to train seriously. So I'm going to take the next five to six weeks and I'm going to train for a 5k. I'll start off by saying that the 5k distance really sucks. It hurts a lot, especially that last mile. And I've actually never run a real 5k. I've only done 5k time trials. And obviously during this time, there are no really any official races. So I'm going to be doing a time trial. I don't actually look forward to it, but I know that training for the 5k is very important because number one, it gives you a good idea of where your speed is at. And I think it's really important for me to develop speed. And secondly, it's a manageable distance to time trial. So this summer I did about eight to 10 weeks of solid training, um, utilizing the Daniels running formula. And I feel like I learned a lot of really good things and principles from his book. So I'm going to take some of those same ideas and apply it to these next five to six weeks. This, what I'm about to show you, is not exactly what he would prescribe, but I've taken a lot of the same workouts. So let's dive into the next five to six weeks. Here we go. Okay, so let's start with the weekly total. I want to hit about 60 to 70 miles for these next five weeks or so. So let me put that in here. Okay, so my general structure is on Monday, I'm going to do 70 to 75 minutes easy, okay? Then on Wednesday is a recovery day, 70 to 75 minutes easy. Friday, same thing, 70 to 75 minutes easy. And on Sunday will be a shakeout recovery day, so that might be 20 to 30 minutes easy. All right, so Saturday, I plan to do my long run. So I'm planning about, I think, 100 to 120 minutes of a long run. And Tuesday and Thursday will be the workout days. That has traditionally worked well for me. So Tuesday, workout, Wednesday, recovery. Thursday, workout, Friday, recovery. Saturday, long run. And then Sunday, shakeout. And then repeat in the next week. Okay, so I have copied Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's basically all the same, but what now changes is what I do on Tuesday and Thursday. So for week one, I'm planning to do 10 by 400 meters with 400 meter jog in between, okay? And then on Thursday, that will be tempo work. So five by one mile at tempo pace with one minute rest, okay? All right, so then week two, I'm going to do sort of a ladder, four by 200 meters, then two by 400 meters, one by 800, and then climbing back up two by 400 meters, and then four by 200 meters at repetition pace. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. These are at repetition. Okay. And then on Thursday, it is a 40 minute tempo. All right. So now on to week three. Week three, I plan to do 12 by 400 meters with 400 meter jog in between. So very similar to week one. And then for Thursday's work, I'll do three by two miles at tempo pace with two minute rest. Okay, so the first three weeks, I'm going to do work at repetition pace and then tempo work. And then week four and five, I'm going to switch from repetition pace on Tuesday to interval pace. So week four, what I plan to do is it's sort of like a fart lick, two minutes at interval pace with a one minute jog, and then one minute at interval pace with a 30 second jog, and then 30 seconds, 30 seconds at interval pace with 30 second jog. 
and then you repeat that cycle until you hit about 8% of your weekly mileage. So that's like an interval paced workout. And then on Thursday, I'm going to go back and do 40 minutes at tempo pace. Week five is the big week. I plan to do six by 1K at interval pace. And then on Thursday, I plan to do three by two miles at tempo pace with two minutes rest. So same as week three. Then I'll finish off week five. Week six, I think I'm gonna do three by 1K. So still interval pace, but just a fewer number of reps. And then at some point down here, I will time trial a few days later after I, after I have recovered. So maybe Saturday, Sunday, I don't know, someday. But that's my current plan. So the basic idea is to go from um, repetition pace in the first few weeks and then convert and translate that into um, interval pace work. And then hopefully that will build um, the endurance that I need to maintain that certain speed. Okay, so that's my plan. Now, if you look at Daniel's 5K plan in his book, he actually alternates between three workouts and two workouts every week. So it would be like week one of Q2 would be repetition pace work, tempo work, um, interval pace work, and a long run. And then the next week after that would be only repetition pace, tempo pace, and the long run. So he alternates between three and two, not counting the long run. So I didn't think that I could handle that. I think that's just a little too much for me at this point. So I've modified it a little bit to include two speed days and one long run only. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully all things go well. We shall see.